Hello and welcome to Mojato on Art. In today's episode, we decided to experiment with our stories. Instead of doing the theme that we usually do, we have brought you four unique stories, each very different from the first. From the deep analysis of inner self and the universe to the dance of colors on canvas. We also bring you our weekly story from the world of Mojato. So stay tuned for all this and more only on Mojato on Art. In our first story of this episode, we bring you the three tales of another microcosm. It is a series of paintings created by three artists. It offers a retrospective on the personal experiences of the artists, as well as their emotions and expectations from life. In the beginning, you might find their artworks to be a bit confusing. But once you're well acquainted with the idea and perspective behind these artworks, you will see that they are highly profound and extremely rooted in nature. So take a look. Ninety colourful pieces of art created over a period of two years are intriguing and moving Delhi's art connoisseurs with its commentary on earthly realities and withdrawal from the macro world, magnified by the artist's narrative. Curated by Bhavna Kakkar, the name Three Tales of Another Microcosm is attributed to the coming together of three very unique artists under one umbrella of thought. So this is an exhibition with three artists who happen to be women, Meenal Damani, Vineha Sharma and Deep Priyanka, three different artists who have not, not been given a theme, but they happen to be working in their own sublime world, you know, like in the case of Priyanka, you know, she's created this uh, fictional universe called Lenika and, uh, and she's working in these microcosms, microbiologies, these organisms which she's you know, which she feels that would be there in this fictional universe. So, and she's working around them. Whereas Meenal's are more, uh, you know, the kind of work she's doing is around her. You know, she's worked with hair, she's worked with gutters, she's worked with, with this very, very minimal spaces that she sees around. See, my work basically starts uh by looking at something, you know, the, the time that goes on to, that goes into looking at something and then the narrative comes up to you, like you mine your uh, memory or your imagination and your subconscious and the narrative like is woven. So for these works, you know, I started with, like, uh, with this idea of looking into a drain where this hair gets collected and then I was just looking at it and thinking that water has passed through this black hole too. and black hole is about a passage to uh, another world. So I was just thinking that how will these hair, these fallen bodies actually you know, pass on. Like. So I just thought that maybe by putting water into it. So that is how I came up with the series of put water, make it water. Meenal has drawn inspiration from the ordinary whereas artist Vineha Sharma is influenced by the notion of afterlife and has explored her curiosity with transcendental aspects and the other world. My work is a very internal journey or an internal experience in a certain sense. It's uh, kind of uh, about a lot of pause and retrospection and introspection. Also about looking and just silences and uh, it's also about a lot of slowness 
or you know going very slow about things and the rest is open to uh, many interpretations or the ways of looking at it so it can be spaces which can be architectonic also it can be uh, entering into a different kind of worlds in them in themselves which you know they might be existing also so you know it's it's a lot of play between that the notion of boundaries and scale seems to collapse at this gallery lit with sublime pieces ranging in thought inspiration mediums and result having found an expression for countless incidents experiences and realities I wanted to show these works because such works are usually not seen and not seen in a white cube gallery context you know at times there are there are shown in maybe a larger group show one work but it doesn't really come together you know the idea behind it here in the space and especially in the setting if the microcosm series struck a chord with your sensibilities then you can check these paintings out for yourself at an ongoing exhibition at 1AQ gallery in delhi the same exhibition can be viewed at latitude 28 starting november 30th till the 15th of december Next in line for today's episode we have Anjali S Goyal an artist who makes use of industrial polymers as a medium for her artworks the glossy paints create a whirlpool of colors spilling with imagination and brilliance her artworks can also be found on mojato.com but before that let's meet the lady in question art for me is an adventure it can bring life and color to any place i have always respected art in any form i have explored my various mediums like initially i was copying or experimenting but something was missing there i think that life is a flow and that flow should reflect on the canvas as a medium of art and no medium can satisfy that feeling of mine on the canvas when i found resin uh, all of a sudden and experimented with it so i was like yeah this is what i wanted the results really fascinates me i was in love with it Resin is a chemical substance which is used commercially uh, for bonding in the factories which I am using in as a medium of my art People think that this form of art is laminated with something but this is not uh, a lamination it's a process of resin which when finishes gives gives a very glossy and shiny look 